Now here they come right from the very corner, the F-7s of the Sri Lanka Air Force led by Wing Commander Mahalo the Serenite and the OC operations of the number 5 squadron. Here they come, bombing towards us ladies and gentlemen.
And today, on this momentous occasion, I will take you through an aerial ballet being performed by the Pride of India, Tejas Flight of Aircraft. The Light Combat Aircraft Tejas is an outcome of decades of research and development by countless number of extraordinary individuals. This aircraft is the lightest and the most potent in the contemporary class. Light, it may be, but it surely packs a heavy punch when it comes to combat. But this machine flies like a butterfly, but like a bee. Please sit back and enjoy as good Captain Manish Tani, or Tony as we would like to call him, takes to the beautiful Sri Lankan skies to get your heart thumping and your feet tapping. Please fix your gaze towards your right as you look over the sea. नहीं तानू जो मुझे दीना नहीं मुल्टी का अरे मुल्टी का भी जाए मुझे मुझे आटो मुझे काला सुपर है ओह मुझे सुपर ही है ओह ओके ओके Please lift your eyes presenting to you for the first time the pride of India the light combat aircraft Tejas As she comes in front of you, the trolley will be carrying out hesitation rolls to demonstrate the agility of the aircraft. Here we go. Beware, ladies and gentlemen, the threat has just crossed head on and Tony has decided to use the vertical to tackle the threat. There he goes with a vertical pitch back whip to come around quickly and neutralize the adversity. This maneuver demonstrates the exceptional vertical maneuvering capability of the Tejas aircraft. There were the heat seekers of the rails. Give it up. 
by the sea and watch him zoom into the sky with a very high reserve of trust. There he goes, inverted, waving goodbye to all of you. I'll do it. I'll do it. Then we have it. Exhausting display. It's now time to head back to base for a chilled mug of the famous Sri Lankan Lion beer. Namaste and Boho Mastadi. Before we jump to the next display, a quick reminder that this is the last day, so we just want two things a big, big cheering all the time and a big enjoyment throughout. So, all of you, are you ready? Just give me a cheer, yes? Yeah? It gives us immense pride and honor to be a part of Sri Lanka Air Force Day celebrations. We once again extend a warm welcome to all the distinguished guests and dignitaries present here. As a mark of long cherished relationship between both the Air Forces, we have customized a display especially for this historic occasion. And as the motto of Sara the team goes, but for the rotors, we would have been closer. With this, we are all set, ladies and gentlemen, to dazzle this arena. So get ready for some quick The team is maintaining the white glass formation while raising a toast from this historic and momentous occasion of 70th Sri Lankan Air Force Day celebrations going on. Saram 1 is leading the formation with Saram 4 right behind him, while Saram 2 and Saram 3 are formatting to the left and right of the leader. one amongst the pioneers who has seen from fledgling Saram team to today's one of its kind in the world. The co-pilot of Saram 1 is the youngest display pilot of the team, Flight Lieutenant Hanvir Singh. And now as you can see the Sarans taking a right turn. There will be a change from inverted wine glass to what we call an India formation. Making an English letter I in the sky. Sarans coming in from your right this time. Sarans approaching with India formation paying compliments to the indomitable spirits of the Sri Lanka Nair Warriors. A big chair on these ladies and gentlemen. Shridhar and along with him, his co-pilot today is Kodal leader Mahesh Kodil. The pilot in command of Sara 3 is Kodal leader Ravish Kumar or Ravs as we call him and his co-pilot is Kodal leader Veer Kumar. Wing Commander Niket Tiwari or Nike is in command of Sara 4 and his co-pilot is Kodal leader Gopi Krishna. This time the Sarans are on your left, coming in for something something very very special. From India, there will be a change in the formation. I won't name the formation because it is a special one for you. During this time, I'll make an attempt to make you listen out to the leader's call. So we are standby to get the leader's call. Keep looking to your left. Sarang's in line and all set to change. Yes, that was the leader and this is called the diamond and aerial diamond especially for all the beautiful ladies present here. 
मेम आवस्था वच संबंध विषय जन सियोलो कांतावली मेम दिया मंती हेड़ यते निर्माण यदि पत क्रीम ओव वेनु वेन कवेन इन डायमंड I'm sure he is trying to propagate the social distancing now this time. You can see him taking a 360 degree circle symbolizing the bubble of precaution which is the need for today's life. That's a night he and Gopi giving you an encircled view and making a sharp shot exit. While they go towards your left, you can be with them and wish them a good luck. Now as we look slightly towards the right, approaching towards the center, Asaram 1, 2 and 3. Positioning for the team's signature maneuver, dedicated to the fall of the Indian Ocean. This maneuver requires a very high degree of skill achieved by strict mind and body coordination. All three helicopters flying abreast will pull up on the vertical plane and carry out a synchronized tall turn to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, straight ahead. Come on in. I'll start in one, two, and three. And that's your right number four accelerating to join up with this formation. The team performs under the air and watchful eyes of the team safety officer and today's safety officer uh, is Colonel Leader Chagin Mohan. Assisting him is the safety officer too and the videographers. Advanced light helicopter. Yes, that was a crossover breakdown, and here you see the reaction, ladies and gentlemen. The team proudly flies advanced light helicopter through. It is a multi-role, multi-mission helicopter manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Its hinterless rotors, exceptional agilities, and advanced avionics makes it a world-class product. And apart from performing these breathtaking displays, the team has also contributed immensely in several humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations. And now, it's time to see the same teammates in lower and closer action as they turn in yeah, towards each other for the vertical synchro maneuver. We call it the double arrow cross. To your right, we have Sarum 1 and 3, and to your left, we have Sarum 2 and 4. Coming in from your right and left. Keep shuffling your eyes. The team is in for double and cross. Commission into the service in the year 2002. This advanced light helicopter is designed to meet the requirements of both military and civil operations. Military versions are widely utilized for transportation of utilities, reconnaissance, and medical evacuation roles. This versatile aircraft is once again ready to raise the air to the as they let the degree of difficulty go up. With the next maneuver, we call it level mesh. And there is a reason why we call it a mesh because there will be a structure like a mesh right in front of you in the air above the sea. Coming in from opposite directions, each helicopter will cross the other within a gap of less than one second and that too in the same plane. And keep looking straight ahead, one and two, three and four, coming in from your right and left for a level mesh. Performance to the next level. I would request you to keep giving a big 
round of applause. It feels good. It feels nice. Thank you so much. machines to their limits. The team showcases the capabilities of the Edwards Allied Helicopters and the indigenous aviation industry. And as the helicopters come closer to you, you can notice the peacock etched all over the aircraft. Now the name Saring is taken from Sanskrit language where peacock is known as Saring. With this, get ready to feel the heat go up as the two pairs are positioning for the next level across. The helicopters are flying at just 50 meters above the sea with Sarum 1 and 3 once again to your right and Sarum 2 and 4 once again to your left. Keep shuffling your eyes from right and left, ladies and gentlemen. Presenting to you, in a few moments from now, a beautiful, pulsating Saru heart. The smoke and the clouds have merged themselves to make it look much more gracious and bigger and magnanimous. Our team boasts of the finest air warriors of the Indian Air Force. An embodiment of the professionalism and ethos of the Indian Air Force, the Sara team has time and again been called to the fore in humanitarian assistance and disaster relief missions. The team executed these missions with the same finesse with which it has been executing well choreographed maneuvers. Behind all the success stories of the team is also the maintenance crew, ably led by Wing Commander Yaman Shukrohi, who ensures that these four birds take to the sky and return home safely. And at this juncture, I would like to mention that the Sarum team is presently the only four aircraft military helicopter display team in the whole world. Can I hear it loud just for the Sarums this time? With this, ladies and gentlemen, the team has rolled in for the grand finale of the display, the Sarum Split. The leader will pull up to present a salute to the Honorable Prime Minister of Sri Lanka on the India's solitary tune of One Day Matter. And during this time, I'll definitely make an attempt to make it out to the leader's court. 